Recording is in progress. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, nice to see you too. It's, what are you uh, doing? What am I doing? I just got kicked out living in a homeless, like, safe house type environment. You're getting a bit, yeah. a bit scared there or something, looking to your side. Yeah, it's the dealer over there. Yeah. I can't really expose him. They're doing some cracking shit. And I just said that I didn't want to join in because I'm not for the drugs, man. I'm more for the, like, yeah, the other stuff. The a bit more. Internet. Yeah, the internet stuff. It's either the drugs or the internet. It's like, I got this wine. Why is that not a drug? It isn't a drug because my mum gave me it. If your mum gives you something, it's not a drug. Exactly. Well, <clears throat> how are you then? I'm good. My mum didn't give me this, but I'm drinking beer. Cheers then, man. Cheers. Mm. I really love wine, by the way. Do you? Yeah, it's, it's or fresh. The wine loves you. The, the wine loves me. It's the bandwagon again. But uh, nah, my mom didn't buy me it, but I bought it on Sustain Bulaget, as it's oh. called here. And I thought. That brings us to our first topic Sustain Bulaget. Yeah. For you audience members watching from. Other places in Sweden, maybe we should explain that Sustian Belaga is the government dealer of alcohol in Sweden. At least alcohol above 3.5%. You can get 3.5% alcohol in the local supermarket, but otherwise you have to go to Sustian Belaga, which is a government-run shop but which sells is... alcohol, and they keep bragging about not making any advertising because they saved so many lives. Well, but at the same time, they keep making advertising about their existence. So you keep, you, you're reminded of Sustia and Belaga all the time. Like, yeah, Sustia and Belaga, Sustia and Belaga. Oh, what did the seven Sustia and Belaga? Alcohol. But they keep making these adverts of like, you know, how they're saving people from alcoholism and that they've got a, basically like Swedes aren't adults. So, um, yeah, but they have like a number that you can call if you're like a addict, like um, um, if you're an alcoholic. And <laughs> so you're gonna phone Sustia and Belaga. Yeah, but it's would, like, like um backed by the uh the government or whatever it's called. It's like you know the cocaine dealers will have a helpline as well. Like if you get. <laughs> Just hey, call this number. Hey, stop it. No, it's just that fucking, you know, it's a bit different times now. Times I have mean, changed. It is an interesting topic, though, because like back in the day in Sweden, apparently things are going off the rails a bit because like people could be paid in alcohol rather than being paid in money. I don't know, like this is like the start of the nineteen hundreds or something. Like that. Yeah. When did the when did Sustian Belag actually start? That's inter interesting, but um, I but think anyway, it was the, the, it could be somewhere in the seventies. I'd I'd guess. I think it was earlier than that because it was like, you know, society was going down the tube, down off the rails because people were, you know, they could choose to get paid in alcohol rather than money and they had these like posters with um like the 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 husband or the father of the house coming home from work and falling asleep on the steps because he'd get so pissed <laughs> about any food have you seen these posters no 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 like, no but would be fun. can you like find these yeah, um put them up them. for people it would be awesome yeah, um, I mean, it, it does I, actually, I can... there's a history to why we have Sustian Belaget, which is a government shop. Um, yeah. 
Um, uh, the Monopoly, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, why does it not say when it started? Uh, shit, I don't like skimming through lots of text when I'm... Um, Jesus. I, I think it said something with... I think the, 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 nineteen fifty five. It says here the the twenty seventh of August nineteen twenty two. Yeah, but it says it's been found in October the first nineteen fifty five. It says on Wikipedia, but I don't know if that one's true though. Um, but that might have been the the. The change because it probably was called something else before that. I'm just trying to get this image. I like, I found the actual poster. Yeah, cool. But I just can't get. Um... I don't know what's wrong with the internet these days. You click on something and then it just disappears. Like I found the image, clicked on it, and now it's gone. That's if you true. right, mm -hmm. if you right click on it, then can you? Open image address. Sometimes that works. If you right click on right, the, you're gonna say that I haven't been to media school. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, that's a small picture. Can you zoom in on that? Uh, it see. says something about um, 1916. So it might have been founded nineteen sixteen in Vecqua. Oh, crikey. But it, uh, it's like Wikipedia. It's, I don't believe the stuff. Uh, uh, it's the wrong button here. I pushed the wrong button. But is there any other countries that have has this system with system system belaget? Do you see this? Yeah. See there it says, oh, learnings after dressed a yar. So this is like the image of when people were getting paid with alcohol and the husband come come home, fall asleep on the steps. You know, the mother's there with the crying children and society's on the way. That's hilarious. And this is like from the 27th of August, 1922. Great. And... Um, <laughs> Twenty-two. Don't forget your microphone, mate. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> nineteen. Nineteen twenty. What did you say? Nineteen twenty-two. Yeah. Was that when it was founded? Yeah, it was so. This is like, yeah, you should do research, guys. But you know, I think it was like they had some vote because it says there's a ref stack, which means vote, vote mm. yes. We can come back to that. Um, what were we saying about Sustain Law? That's just it's like... I just would like to know when it was founded and for what reason it was founded. Okay. Well, let's have a but, look. Um, I know that people were paid like in alcohol before. Um, you can see it in lots of... I've done lots of building stuff and old buildings too. I was like focusing on culture like a culture carpenter you could call it i don't know what it's called in english um but it's, like it says these... it's from 1955 but that's like according to sustain and blog at themselves mm -hmm. but anyways all these but... old buildings in the foundation you can always find all these spirit flasks and like beers and Loads of things. So they were drinking all the time when they were working. And um, that might have been a problem or something. And they started it for that reason. I can't think of any other reason. Why would you start a monopoly? Well, it was, um, it says, it's to limit the alcohol's negative effect on society. That's how the state wasn't resonating. What's the word for resonating? 
reasoning, yeah, that's how the state yeah. reasoned when the Sistian Blaget was founded in 1955, and it still is today. But I find this a bit hypocritical, because it means, like, you know, um, you probably know, like, you know, beers like Arboga 10.2%. Yeah. It's like, you know, <sighs> who drinks... Drink. Got to the next thing or what? <laughs> no, but I mean, like this: is this is this is this stopping? Is this stopping like alcoholics? Not at all. Look, not at all. Like our burger, extra stag, ten point two percent. Have you ever seen any like <laughs> person who's not an alcoholic drink these for like? Yeah, I enjoy a couple of. 10.2 percent are burgers on a Tuesday evening, <laughs> but you just need like one or two and you're well away. Mm -hmm. But they don't taste any nice. I've had those that are a bit stronger, no. and I think they because taste these are like you know, custom made for alcoholics. So I just can't yeah. see how they are saving society from like you know, the negative effects. Not at all, it just but doesn't the... seem if that's your like mission, then you probably shouldn't be selling these ten point two percent lagers. I mean, you rat assed after a couple of those. Yeah, and it it's like you rat us in a bad way. You're like, Ugh. you're like screaming stuff at people and not being at all any nice. You can see that the picture's mirror flipped anyway, but I can tell you what it is. It's no, it's you, you it's mirror flipped for you, but not for me. Is it not? That's great. Otherwise, you um, couldn't read it. my kid's hat that I'm wearing. This thing. Oh yeah, that's true. So you can you can see this. Yeah, you can see yeah. what it says. Gazella. It's, it's yeah, exactly. But so it's, you're drinking wine. Vino Verde from that's Portugal, what, yeah. and basically it has a pineapple. It's got citrus. It's got um, obviously um, wine. Is it mixed there. with wine? Uh, grapes uh, it's a wine so do you, I'm going to try it and, and say what I think about it because it's the first time I've tried this one it was recommended by uh, Victor so I was like yeah sure let's try it it looks unopened it is unopened so I'm just going to try it the first time now on the show for the first time yeah man let's pop it up Okay. Don't do this at home, kids. <coughs> do it somewhere else. No, just joking. Um, all right. Let's see what this is. Give it a little. Oh, it's a bit fizzy. It's sparkly. Don't forget your microphone. It's a bit fizzy. It's sparkly. Hear <laughs> it. Yeah, let's try. First, first smell. It smells a bit like um, what's it called, scumpa in in English. Champagne. Yeah, something like that. Bubbly. Bubbly, sparkly stuff. Champy. I don't know. Jesus, it doesn't taste any alcohol at all. This this is a wine that you can drink in the summer and become completely rat assed. Well, I'm inspired enough to want to try it myself. Oof, it was really good. Jesus Christ. Do you know what this wine cost? No. It probably... Guess. Guess what this this nice bottle of wine cost. Hmm. Well, it's... I don't know, maybe... Um, 71 kroner. Oof, you were close. It was something like that. It's not at all expensive. You have like no, but you, it it was up, like mate. you are. I just looked it up. Oh, you did. Okay, that was why. <laughs> cool. Um. Well, yeah, that's, that's not very expensive. No, it's it's a good price. Um, I saw that they had three different ones on Sustainable Target, were which were Vino Verde. 
basically the grape or the or the I mean the place where where it's where the grape is taken. And um, this was the cheapest one of them. I just thought I'll start with the cheapest one and see, take it from there, see which one I like best. So I start started with this one. It was really lovely, actually. That's nice. Yeah, probably probably one. It, it's probably going to become a favorite, I think. So I'm trying to get back to like what was the actual main point we were trying to make about Sustian Balaget. You'd been there. Uh, they sell drugs. They sell drugs. They sell fucking meth. No, they don't. Alcohol they is a drug. Yeah, alcohol is a drug. But they sell pretty well sorted um, alcohol. It's like, and it's not so expensive. It's like, because I, I watched this food program where they're, actually in Portugal and places like that and looking at these wines that you can buy on sustainable Arget, and they're probably about the same price or even cheaper at sustainable Arget than the actual place where the, where it's created so it's not I don't know how do they make the money if they sell it cheaper than the actual place that makes it don't know. that's that's a question too I think they're not supposed to be making money. Mm. So they so they sell it for the price that it's basically zero. Well, since it's government owned, it'd be weird. Well, like, what what's the government going to do with the profits? Buy illegal stuff. What <laughs> would you do with money? <laughs> Buy a house, a golf course. Well, it's not my money, is it? It's the state's money because it's the state-run alcohol shop. Yeah, but okay. Let's say, what do they do with the money? But um, could it not somehow go into private interest? I don't know. I never looked into it. No. Nah. Maybe they just buy more alcohol with it. But like Sweden's like famous for basically having privately owned entities making money off the state's um, like the state's money like Lundin making weapons for Saudi Arabia and stuff like that but is Lundin oil not owned by the Lundin family and not the state of Sweden but that's what I mean it goes from the from the pockets of or whatever the um I can't think of the words anymore. What's it called? Scat. The fucking tax. IRS. Tax. The tax, exactly. The tax money is going to them to create weapons. Oh yeah. So that's what I mean. What is the state doing with the money it gets over? Is it making weapons for Saudi Arabia? Is it Selling military planes to, I don't know, China or something like that. It is interesting that, like, you know, Absolute Vodka is a very famous Swedish brand, probably not one of the most famous Swedish brands, and that used to be stately owned, but the state yeah. sold it at some point. Vino Sprit oh, used yeah. to own it. So Absolute Vodka isn't Swedish anymore? Or? I'd have to look that up. Because it was it was like before anyway. I thought that that was something to be proud of. Not that I like vodka, but um, it's all right if you do a good drink, I guess. But I'm I'm telling you, this wine it was it's incredibly owned, fruity. It's owned by a company called Pernod Ricard. <laughs> Pernod Ricard. Pernod. Ricard. What's your name? Bernard Ricard. And it was only it was originally owned by the state's own Vinox Speet. So it is Swedishly owned. What is? Absolute. It's it's the state of Sweden or some other state. 
خلاص لك امم as as Swedish polit politicians are upset over that Pernod Ricard who also owns the Swedish brand Absolute Vodka is exporting to Russia again. Aha, okay. And it also owns Mintu, which is made in Finland. Is it is Absolute Vodka from Sweden. <sighs> but it is it? But I don't know. I'm trying to find out if it is. But do you like vodka? I don't buy it that often. Nah. Uh, uh, I don't know. What what can you make with vodka? Cocktail. Of, of course you can make like drinks and stuff like that. But um, like you can't really drink vodka as it is. It's horrible. No, you can. I did. <laughs> you did? <laughs> 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 no, no, oh, I'm drinking whiskey now. Nice. Oh, shit. No, but seriously, I did try like some really nice vodka. I don't know what they're done with it, like distilled it quite a few times. Cause, I mean, vodka's from Poland to start off with, and it was in Poland. I, th I think it was a Polish vodka. I can't remember actually, but it was like, yeah, it was like very pure. And that was very, that was all right, just drinking straight. Mm. Nice. What was it called? Oh, I can't remember. Nazdero, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. You know the feeling when you sit on your feet and they've like completely fallen asleep. So it feels like you're crippled. You got pins and needles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, oh, shit. I just had to stretch out my feet. It was like crazy. Oh. I'm just okay. trying to think of what the heck is going on with this. It would like, you know, why do we even start talking about Sustia and Belaga? Because you went there. I don't know why we started. Because I had a bottle here too. <laughs> I thought that it'd be be nice <laughs> for people to maybe see and reaction. I think we've been um, talking about a half an hour about Sustia and Belaga. <laughs> well, it's talking about something anyway. Oh, yeah. Just keeping it flowing and going in some way. Maybe it wasn't flowing, but it doesn't really matter. I just thought I'd share the experience of this because I like wines. Uh, yeah. Probably that's, that's probably my favorite drink. If it's a spirit, it's probably the wine because it's. Uh, I feel that it's most, um, uh, ri what should you say, calm for the body or whatever you call it. Like it doesn't like affect me in a bad way oftenly. Like um like beers can affect me in a bad way. I can become like this upblown like Michelin guy who just rolls around basically on my own on my own belly. And spirits like vodka, they make me crazy. Tequila makes me Mexican. Um yeah. But this keeps me quite nice. Well, that's great. And it was I wanted to share the experience because I've not drunk in this one before. And oh. it was super good. So I can recommend this this one. It's called um ga what's it called? Gazela. Gazela. From Gazela. Yeah, from Portugal. Um yeah, and it's from the a place called Vino Verde. Mm-hmm. Um should see what, what's in it then. Um what does it say here? It's a white wine. It doesn't say what it is. It says in, in Portuguese. And in French. Why does it not say in Swedish or English? Light, fresh, young, floral wine. Served cool at 6 to 8 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. um, I can just look at the bottle and it's got like pineapple, it's got lime and, and grapes. So 
It's probably Let's some try that sometime. Yeah, definitely. I'll buy all three and we'll try them on the pod or something like that. Yeah. We'll try a few wines. We can we can mix it up this pod a bit. We can I mean th- that's the fun thing. I talked about the pod with my brother now because I'm on my dad's birthday do. And he was quite interested in joining in, actually. That'd be fun. It was like, yeah, it was like okay, he's a bit more computer gamey, but he he he's a bit like you. He likes to imitate voices. He That's can do, a, yeah, he can do a pretty good Donald Trump and a few others. He can imitate my grandma too. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get him on then. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm like, download Zoom now. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know he's like, he's too lazy. He's not gonna do it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him a few times and see if he push it on a bit so he does something because he's a bit lazy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Now Moving on. No. Now people know about Sustia and Balaga, and I think that's like the only top we're going to have time for because you see that yeah. thing is counting down. It doesn't really matter. What it's does just, it? it doesn't really matter what the topic is on this show. That's the fun thing I said. I also oh, yeah. said to him that our uh, podcast, it, it's about the free word. And it doesn't matter if we've got energy or not. If we're tired, we're still Nothing. doing it. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Like I'm falling asleep, nearly. Yeah, I'm. I was completely knackered. I was laying down on the bed here because I had a, like stomach pains. So I was like, "Ah, oh, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Let's just mm-hmm. go, keeping it up." Keeping. I'm it gonna go and way. watch a video about true astrology that someone said I need to watch. All right, who said that then? Secret. Okay. I'll get back to that. It's going to be a cliffhanger for the next show, something like that. Hope you're going to have a special guest on in this weekend. So um, stay yeah. tuned. I hate when podcasters say that. So why don't you say it? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Like, yeah. Remember, but press the subscribe button. It's, uh, it's It should be down here somewhere. Well, yeah. it was definitely not. Uh, uh, maybe. It, there somewhere. Yeah. Maybe. A bit more that way. There. I think Press that people, one, I mean, and then the bell button, or both. 2024 was... people know how to use this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what, what did we learn from this, then? That it's still possible to do this when being tired and not even having a topic planned, because the topic will just turn up, like Sustia Malaga. And it's, you know, it's a very typical Swedish thing, system, mm. target, and I'm glad we got that out of the way. Okay, but... Um, the before same we like... we can still save the cell, the 10.2% lagers because they want to sell, save people from alcoholism, so it's very important they sell them. So, yeah, that's... Just... So, so what do you think about sustainable lager to get, like, a question out there? <sighs> I don't know. The thing, I think the, the thing with living in Sweden is you just, like, give up eventually. It's like, yeah, well, if you want your alcohol, you're just going to have to go to Sustia and Belaget and just, that's it. It's. But do you think it's a bad thing or do you think it's good that it's well sorted? I think shops will be well sorted anyhow. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like, you know, it would be driven from interest. Like, you know, I've been in shops in Britain, I've been in shops in Germany, which are well sorted in Poland. Yeah. That argument isn't really that strong because people who yeah. use that argument haven't had a look around in other countries which don't have this monopoly. Mm. I don't know, it's just... I I agree with you, though. Because yeah. uh, I, I think that um, it should be op- open and free. I think you should be able to buy alcohol, basically, in the shops. It's like, why is social media then legal? by the state because i don't want this state to keep like you know you can get addicted to anything yeah but is it legal with uh, social media anymore you can't write stuff about russia you can't r- write stuff about 
No, but you can still uh, become you... addicted to it. But yeah, sure. It's um a limiting service. Yeah, but it is. It's become that way anyway, which I don't... I've always fought for net neutrality, as it's called. But at the end of the day, like, so Stian Balaga doesn't stop alcoholics from going in there to get these 10.2% beers. So, like, in which way are they actually stopping, like, the the damaging effects of alcohol because you you know alcoholics still go and get their alcohol from sustain Belaga. It's just that sometimes it's not open because it's closed like you know Saturdays at three PM. Yeah. Which is going to lead to people bunkering up with lots of alcohol rather than just buying smaller portions of alcohol and because you know it's going to be there like all the time. You can get some beers on the way to your after party or whatever. But yeah I think it just I agree. excess drinking basically. So it's like one of these projects that should be really scrutinized mm. but anyway it's what Definitely. less than a minute left and uh something's i don't know it's my phone blinging away i haven't put it on silence anyway <laughs> thanks for getting through this uh yeah. friday evening anthony i'll see you yeah, tomorrow it's been really nice cheers man have a nice yeah you too friday cheers. goodbye and uh stay tuned <laughs>